Average session duration is really important for your website, so you need to have as bigger as you can average session duration, so 4 minutes is better than 2 minutes. But that depends on your website. An electrician or a plumber don't want users to stay a, on the, uh, a lot on their websites, they just want to press on the button and call them. So that depends on your site. A pizza house don't want users to stay a lot on their web page. They want just to call and make an order so as to, to order the pizza. So that depends deeply on your website if you want larger average session duration or not. But the general rule is that average session duration is 100% associated with success. So you want people to come to your website and stay as long as they can. So you only have seven or eight channels that bring people to your website and later we're going to compare these channels based on average session duration. So if I have a channel that brings people that stay longer, this is my favorite channel compared to another one that brings people that stay uh, 10 or 15 seconds. Google officially tells that if your user stays more than 30 seconds, you're okay, you, you must be happy, but I think you shouldn't. I think that if you want to be happy, your users must stay on your website at least one minute. To check on your web page the best average session duration, you do this simple trick. You open your web page and you start a chronometer and you start counting how many um, seconds you are on your, work page, on your web page and um, you, you, you visit your home page and then you do the actions you want others to do. So if you want others to buy something, try to buy this something. So do it fast, don't read all the text, do it fast and count how many seconds you need to complete this action. So if you need 30 seconds to buy something from your website, 30 seconds is the minimum time people should spend if they fast forward buy something from your site. But now take, tell somebody else to do the same things and count the number of seconds he did to buy something. So this is the real actual test because you know your website better than anyone. So it's really easy for you to find the right buttons and find the way to buy something. But for a new visitor, he has to read and press and check, so it takes more time, more than the double time that you did. So take your time, multiply it by two, and find the ideal time visitors should stay on your home, on your uh, website. So maybe for a website it's one minute or two minutes or three minutes, take into consideration that the more they stay, the more info they read and the more closer they are to your final target.